So 5Q is really about asking stakeholders much more frequently about what their needs are and how a specific project can serve them. So it, this is a perfect tool towards building gaps between uh, uh, researchers and all stakeholders at different levels, providing feedback so as to improve project implementer strategies and methodologies. It's kind of how we use these ICT tools. On the one, one side using tablet applications, on the other side making phone calls with local with recorded questions from local people. So, so 5Q is uh, really about reducing the costs, maximizing the benefits um, in a project. Because you are responsive to emerging opportunities, you're responsive to the needs of the final beneficiaries you're trying uh, uh, to generate those benefits for. Well, it's, a, it's a kind of a combination of a methodological framework and a technical platform and it aims for supporting the process of project implementation, like to support it on monitoring, evaluation, and the learning, process, learning cycle in projects. So projects evolve, you write a proposal, and during implementation all sorts of things change. Opportunities arise, um, uh, there are new contextual situations. You learn as you try, as you try things, and so 5Q is about using all of that learning during a project, receiving feedback from all sorts of sides, from the stakeholders, the beneficiaries themselves, from other partners, from donors themselves, and, and putting all that so you're systematically learning and you're systematically adjusting the direction of the project to maximize impact. On really trying to integrate different methods um, participatory methods with systematic data collection efforts to identify locally appropriate climate smart agricultural practices across East Africa. Utalamu ni mbata kwa wabani kwa mtuonye shajinsi ya kupanda begu hizi bora kutumia vipimo na kukatumia na kama unavuyona hivu tumitumia kwa vitendo Farmers they are very happy if you do the, the theoretical, then the practical. That is the support to, to learn. So it's better to do theoret, theoretical and practical. That's the, the come and agree that this, this is good knowledge. Elimu ya kufanya kwa vitendo ni bora zaidi ana unapofanya kwa kutenda naona ni bora zaidi kwa sababu kama hukutenda basi huwezi kuwa na kuona ule uhalisia kwa jambo lenyewe so the the standard way of doing this uh, historically and, and and this is this is very widely applied is to do uh, a very large survey at the start which is the kind of the baseline uh, and then at the end after 3 years 5 years of implementation you go back you measure what changed, you write a report and supposedly that generates learning. But really the project's finished. All of the learning is happening during the project and that's when it's really valuable. 5Q project, it's, uh, I think it's very well defined that we are using ICT tools to close these communication gaps no? and in a very smart way. So we're using it for in a cultural context. So we say if you talk to farmers, maybe it's better to talk to them and not to write to them, so we send uh, voice survey responses by cell phones to other farmers. We go and we, we do face-to-face -face interviews using tablets, so it's kind of ICT is helping to close this communication gap. I think that creating the feedback loop is can really help uh, relationships on the ground, it can help the outscaling process, it can help make sure that what we're doing it has real application that makes sense. So we talk about feedback loops, but it, we need to make sure that it's a real loop. So farmers are providing feedback, project implementers are providing feedback back to the farmers, and we keep spiraling uh, along the project lifeline. Ni dakika tu kadhaa tayari umeshamaliza kuhojiwa. The farmers as a being a new technology to them, not only to the farmers, even to the scientists, even to the extension agents, it's, it's very important to have a feedback from whatever is going on, 
where they stuck, where it's going well, where it's going wrong, and, and to share with the other farmers. By farmers um, being able to provide input at all stages is a, a very clear benefit so that farmers feel ownership. So if they're asked questions about the IFAD project or about the demonstrations, um, that helps with farmer engagement and the farmer ownership of the project. So Mimi zile yani hii kwa kweli mimi niiona kwamba ni bora zaidi. E, kwa sababu hii yani ni kitu ambacho lambda kiko rife. Kiko live yani kiko yani uko uko uko, uko nacho yani ukuso kwa uso. Mm. Ni mkulima niliohamasika na mradi huu wa mabadiliko ya tabia ya nchi na usalama wa chakula. Tangia huu mradi uje kwa kutumia technology zilizoletwa na mradi nimefaidika kwa sababu ndani ya miaka minne mtu unakuwa unapata mavuno ya kutosha na tunashughulika pia vile vile na upandaji wa miti ambao ni kubadilisha hali ya hewa for us to receive basically immediate feedback because the about the farmers perceptions of the project the farmers perceptions of the demonstration trainings because I5Q uses an electronic platform, the IFED project leaders can receive this feedback from the farmers immediately, real time. And so we're able to change course um, as we receive the feedback. I think it would be <clears throat> uh, much better if the donor can be part of this communication process of implementing a project and so all stakeholders should be part of that, from farmers to the donors. Na nilidodoswa kwa kutumia vyombo kama hivi ambavyo leo viko hapa. Lakini hii nimeona ni bora kwa sababu wakati mwingine nalodoswa alafu picha zile naletewa na zionyeshwa na pia napata ule moyo kwamba mimi najulikana katika nchi nyingi kama ni mkulima wa Tanzania katika wilaya ya Lushoto Katambuzi. What we've learned through during these two years is kind of that it is simple, it's low cost and in, in the, the, the limited sphere of, uh, um, of application that we've had, we've shown that it's valuable. So really what we see is an opportunity of the, 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 the concept has been proven and we have a real opportunity now to, to scale it out and apply it in other projects uh, uh, in, in different contexts and, and just, uh, just, just refine it, uh, improve it and um, um, in doing so generate benefits for these other projects.